Peter Navarro is already in jail. Trump's going to jail and Bannon is going to jail soon. But how do the American people feel about that? Well, apparently a little conflicted, according to a Rasmussen poll, well, at least when it comes to Bannon. When asked the question, Steve Bannon, an advisor to former President Donald Trump, has been sentenced to prison for refusing to comply with a subpoena from Congress. Do you approve or disapprove of Steve Bannon being sentenced to prison? 62% approved overall, with 41% strongly approving. Um, but voters do feel that the rule of law is important and that all people, even the Biden administration, should comply with congressional subpoenas when asked how important is the rule of law, ensuring that public officials are held to the same standard of justice as other citizens. 82% said very important. So this is a lot to make to figure out what's going on. So let's bring in Mark Mitchell. He's the head pollster at uh, Rasmussen Reports. Look, at first I was like, is this just a result of the very, very negative media campaign that has been levied against Steve Bannon for years now, right? He has been the boogeyman now for years, if you read the corporate media or watch uh, MSNBC. But then I got to think about it. I, I think that it was hard to pose the question, right? in the context and provide all the background being that a the the committee for which he is being um sent to prison over contempt of uh contempt of congress is illegitimate illegitimate and was not fair um but i i did feel like people do want the rule of law tell me what stood out to you mark well you know the best way to ask a question is short and simple and the more we added the less of a signal we would see and you know we were interested uh -huh. because we've gone on steve bannon a few times he's essentially embraced his role as a political yeah. prisoner. And so the way we asked the set was kind of like the most unfair we possibly could to him. We asked yeah. how important was the rule of law. Then we asked the question, if members of the Biden administration refuse to comply with subpoenas from Congress, should they go to jail? And then it's like, OK, now Steve Bannon is going to jail. Do you approve or disapprove? And, you know, it's like 62 percent, which is a pretty high number. Uh, but we, you know, there's no way we could have put all that context yeah. in. I'll, I'll tell you, like voters just do not know really the subtext of what was going on with the Jan 6 committee. And I, you know, like this gets into the issues that people have with Republican leaders in that, like, why don't they know? Why, why was nothing done so far? But even 44% of Republicans, even at least somewhat approved, like 21% strongly. So Republicans are basically mixed. And, you know, the, the people who are overwhelmingly ecstatic, like you said, with the, the, the press campaign is Joe Biden, strong approvers, 84 percent of them uh, strongly approve of Steve Bannon going to jail, another 8 percent somewhat. So that puts it into the 90s, which is about as high as you ever see with any number. So they definitely stand out here. Well, even with the contempt charges, all of this really stems right from the thought crime, the original thought crime of daring to question the 2020 election. But if that is the standard, then according to your polling uh, at Rasmussen Reports, a majority of Americans should be in, going to jail because overall 66% of people said they are concerned that the outcome of the 2024 presidential election, presidential election will be affected by cheating with 40% being very concerned. Yeah, I, everybody should just take a look at those numbers and breathe them in. The number that stands out to me most is that 14% at the bottom who are not at all concerned about cheating. Listen, this question says affecting the outcome of the election. Only 14% of Americans are therefore completely confident that like literally the person they vote for, their vote's going to be accurately tallied. I have, like th This number is the biggest, most mind-blowing election integrity record number we've ever had. And we've mm -hmm. asked that question a couple different times, a couple different ways. The number has been increasing every time we ask since the 2020 election. And I think that's proof positive that the bipartisan, you know, 2020 was the most secure election in history. Shit, this <laughs> didn't work at all. But this is the trend we've been following. It's, it's, you know, it's really hard yeah. to pull on this, but it's the failing trust in federal institutions, and that's why, you know, the rule of law, we ran this, these questions back to back. Basically, we have a majority of Americans now saying the FBI is Joe Biden's personal Gestapo. We have over 60 percent of Americans thinking that federal agents are, are planning ops against their people like they did on Jan 6. And even I think it was 64 percent who said that, you know, the DOJ is being politically weaponized by the Biden administration against yeah. its political opponents. And the only one that the only people that don't seem to to see that are really 
Joe Biden strong approvers. But even with this election number, that, I mean, again, two out of three voters, no faith That's in big. elections. And now it's a majority of Democrats for the first time. It's uh, 50, what is that? 55% of Democrats now, 27% are very concerned. It's getting so bad, even they can't deny it, no matter how much MSNBC they watch. Thank you, Martin Mitchell with Rasmussen Reports. You can catch him break down the numbers in more detail on YouTube where he posts his videos going through the numbers. Thanks, Mark. Always my pleasure.